Um, I know I've been uploading like a lot of videos lately, which is kind of a good thing. So today is going to be a tutorial on how to make a LPS rug. So let me, um, this is what the rug looks like. And um, this one's a little wrinkled, but that's okay. And you can kind of make it like, um, like, kind of like, you see how it blends? It's not like a straight color, it kind of blends. So it's really cool, and this one's just rainbow. I'm probably not going to make my next one rainbow, but. I usually use it as, like I said, an LPS rug. You could use it for whatever you want. You could use it for, I don't know, Barbie dolls, whatever. So, the things you'll need are a paper towel, some spray, like, you could use water, um, I know, like, acetone or, like, nail polish remover works really good, or anything. I use this old, like, surface cleaner, and it works pretty good, so yeah. And then you'll need scissors and some markers. So first what you're going to do is you don't have to make it a circle, and you're going to take your paper towel. And you're going to cut it. So I'll be right back once I've cut mine. Oh, and by the way, um, this time I'm using a little bit of a thinner napkin than what I used last time. This one is like um, like an actual like napkin, and this one is more of a like a, what do they call it? Like a I can't put my finger on it, but you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, like something you wipe the table with, so yeah. But just, just saying. This, uh, and you could also, if you use this thick kind, probably wouldn't work with this thin kind, but if you use thick kind, you could probably make like bed spreads and everything. So yeah. But anyways, let me get back to cutting. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see because it's like white on white, but I made a flower pattern like this so it's kind of like that on the edges I made it a crease where's my finger um I made it a lot smaller than my other one just because I don't know why I just did but um what you're gonna do is you're gonna color it so as you can see I already have another piece colored and then when you spray it like this with your spray It, um, it, like, spreads out, and it blends, and it looks very cool, in my opinion. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, the colors I'm deciding to use are these three, and I'm just going to color it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, since it goes out so good, I used a different approach, so for, um, For this one, I just drew it in circles and spread it. But this one, I did dots, and I want to see what happens when I do dots and I spread it. So I'm gonna spread it. And we'll see what happens. It's not wanting to spray. Hang on. Let me see if I can. I'm just gonna um, squirt it out the bottom because it is not wanting to spread. So yeah, it does spread out a lot, and it gives a cool effect. But you do have to let this dry for a while. So yeah. And this is um, kind of similar to the thing that we did in school. I forgot what they're called, if any of my friends know. But um, yeah. So once it's, it gets very flat when you um, spray it. And I don't know if this one's going to work. Just because it's so thin and it's so wet and flat. But if you, it's probably better off using a thick one. 
But if you don't, I'm out of thick ones, so if you don't have any more thick ones, then one will work. You probably just have to let it dry, but if not, I'll um, let you guys know. So yeah, I have one more thing to show you. Okay, another thing you can use is thick paper. So, you can take your thick paper and... You know, cut out a design, blah, 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 blah. Same thing we did. 